village not far away from the city. Are you the one they call Hale? The one they say can see without eyes. That is odd. But I no longer practice my skills as a seer anymore. I'm afraid I can't be of any assistance to you any further. But sir, you must understand. The chieftain requires that you, Hale, be escorted to the village, if only to procure the chieftain's wise counsel. <laughs> you are mistaken. I haven't dabbled in the occult for more than a fortnight. I am too rusty to partake in the send of her, so I bid you farewell. The chief says that you are the last of seers. Who gave him such knowledge? God knows. Told me to mention it then if you are being too difficult. So please, sir, let me be of service. Besides, the night is young. The night is young. And the rain has stopped. I have my carriage outside then. I accept. What? We'll go with you. Splendid, I shall pack your things for you. No, not that I don't trust you. I just think it would be more organized if I do it myself. As you wish, I'll be waiting the carriage. See you accepted my invitation. I was offered counsel. Tell me, chieftain, what counsel can you provide me with? Pretentious. That I am still doesn't answer my question. Your reputation precedes you, magician. There is no such thing as magic. Me and you both know that's far from the truth. If it's a magician you seek, then we're wasting time. Don't take this the wrong way. 
my literacy in the arts does tend to project all the wrong impressions. I did not mean to offend. None taken. But why have I been brought here? Have the wells run dry again? Does Pazuzu still breathe deceased? If only it were as simple as that. But even a man of iron such as myself cannot bear witness to such horror. For you see, a demon torments my knights. What? That is correct. A supernatural mischief keeps tormenting me. Sometimes just a slight jest. Other times, very, very aggressive. What do you require me for in this matter? Shouldn't the local Mulvies be put to this? Again, nothing that simple. Especially for a bunch of fundamentalists. What makes you so sure? I have encountered this beast. It is huge. All you can ever see is its dark figure. It reeks of horror. I'm afraid my tolerance for it has run out. Which is why I invited you to my village. Perhaps. But before I start my investigation, I need time to meditate. But of course, all the facilities are open for you. Bashir will take you to your designated room and also serve as your personal assistant for as long as you're here in my village. Bashir! Take Master Hill to his room and provide him with whatever he needs. Thank you for coming, Hill. It means so much to me and the people of this village. They have faith in you. I am no god. Stop this endless spree of violence. Revenge will not bring you peace. Guess you're not in the mood for chit chat. I'll just leave these here then. shadows like guilt belongs to you. You're cold. You're a demon. Don't test me. You're fortunate. Strange. 
but very fortunate. <laughs> You, you lied to me. What do you mean? You told me that it was a djinn, a fire being, a supernatural. And? It was, it was like us, flesh and blood. He's human. Nothing of such appearance could qualify as human. Perhaps subhuman would be the right term. Even a political man, such as yourself, must acknowledge the discrepancies in what you told your people about this predicament. You can't prove anything. Or perhaps I can. Where did you find that? Not important where I found it, but what it implies. You are a deceiver, a distorter of truth. You have done enough for us, Hale. But you must leave now. Oh, I'm not through yet. The truth must not be kept from the people. I've asked you nicely, but now I must use unnecessary force. Guards, please escort our guest here, out to the city. <laughs> With pleasure, Sasha. We're gonna have fun got you, boy. <laughs> Time to slice and dice. Slice and dice. Oh, I wanna take the first jab at him. Easy there, there's plenty for everyone. Wait, let him go, we'll deal with him later. Find the beast and bring it to me. Yes, sire. Must eat. You don't look weak, but I know your spirit is frail. Open this door by order of the chief. Stay in here. I'll take care of this.